I was just sick and tired of always having sore hands. And I remember turning to him and saying like, granddad, am I ugly? Because I don't even know why it came out. And I was so young. And to say that something like that when you're so young and he was like, no way. Like I'll obviously take them off and I'll never forget the time that I took them off. And the guy sat next to me, which was one of my friends, he was like, oh, oh my gosh, what's happened to your hands? Like, and he thought I was self-harming and mm. because there was just scratches everywhere. I absolutely love those. Running in particular, it was just like, it made me feel so free and I was so good at it. So, you know, most of the time I would win the race. So it's, <laughs> it's like an amazing feeling. And I think it just, it was where I excelled in and, you know, it didn't matter what I looked like in, it was just, yeah, it was such a freeing thing, you know. But yeah, I'd be on the bus, sat there on my own, and they, on the way to the athletics match, they, like, were pour, pouring crisps on my head. And I was, like, just sat there, like, feeling really upset. And I didn't have the confidence to turn around to them all because they were the older years and there was a massive group of them to be like, what are you doing? Like, stop doing that. So I look back and I just wish I could, like, give little me, like, a bit of advice and be like, just tell them to stop. Mm. But I think, you know, when there's a big group of people and you're that young, you do just feel, like, really vulnerable. And when I hit rock bottom and went into hospital and my face went double the size, I'd not seen my friends in ages, I isolated myself. I remember thinking back then I don't want to exist anymore like I've hit like rock bottom too many times look at me I can't even look at myself I don't want to exist like I don't want to exist and that I yeah it was just like a black hole couldn't see anything else um, so yeah so I did that and I was so happy it was a warmer climate everyone was really friendly and bubbly um I felt like I could express my personality through my clothes, like wear more like hippie clothes. Everyone was a bit more spiritual. Everyone was into health. And it just felt like all the puzzle pieces like slotted together. What? I don't like, look at me. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Camille, you do. Like you've got legs, you can go on a run. And I was like, fine. And she would like make me write down 10 positive statements every morning, like of what I'm grateful for. And if it wasn't like good enough, she'd be like, right, rewrite another one. This is why I talk a lot about like the mental aspects in my book, because I think that, that that your mental health is so, so, so important, you know, whether when living a healthy life, even if it's eczema or, or something else, I think everything starts in your mind. And like, that's how I, I truly had the turning point with my eczema was when I realized how strong my mind was.